Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, everybody? I hope you are all fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I'm also fine, alhamdulillah. Today, I'm going to take an online class for student of class 7, subject sum and moral education. Chapter 1, lesson A, topic Wahi. Dear student, do you know what are called the revealed books of Allah? Wahi. Our today's topic Wahi. Now, learning outcome after this lesson, a student will be able to know the concept of Wahi, will be able to know the definition of Wahi, will be able to know the process of revelation of Wahi, will be able to know the kinds and importance of Wahi. Now the concept of Wahi. Wahi is an Arabic word. It means gesture, wing, and secret word. Generally, a message secretly sent to anyone is called Wahi. In Islamic terminology, the messages that were revealed from Allah to His prophets and messengers are called Wahi. As an instance, Almighty Allah revealed Al Quran to our blood prophet, Hadrat Muhammad. So, Al Quran is one kind of Wahi. Now the revelation of Wahi. Almighty Allah sent Wahi to the prophets and messenger in different ways. Among those two methods are famous. A. Through angels. Almighty Allah conveyed his saying to the prophets and messengers to the angels. For example, Hajjud Jibrail a.s. the angel is the chief of his messenger. He came to the prophets and messengers with the messages of Allah. B. Through direct speaking. Sometimes, Allah spoke to the prophets and the messengers directly. For example, Allah spoke to Hajrat Musa Salam on the mountain tour. Allah also spoke to our blood prophet وسلم, directly at the night of Miras. Now the times of Wahi. Wahi is of two kinds. There, a. Wahi Matlu It is a kind of Wahi that is recited. For example, the Holy Quran. The Quran Masjid is called Wahi Matlu because it is recited in Salat. B. Wahi Gairi Matlu It means which is not recited. For example, Hadith Sharif. Hadith Sharif is not recited in Salat. So, it is called Qayre Matlu.
the saints activities and approval of the great prophets sallallahu alaihi wasallam are called hadith hadith is called a part of he as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not say anything on his own rather he said everything being directed by allah regarding this allah says بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما ينطق عن الهوى ان هو الا وحي يوحى يعني prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not say anything of his own desire brother it is a wahi that was sent to him Surah An-Nazm parts 3 to 4 Now the importance of wahi wahi is a very important issue wahi is revealed directly from Allah it is irrefutable knowledge there are no errors or doubts The message of Ohi are beyond all doubts. Ohi is the origin of all knowledge and science. Almighty Allah bestowed mankind with all types of knowledge through Ohi. As the knowledge is revealed from Allah, it is complete and incomparable. We know well about our house. We can tell correctly what things are there in our house and where they are kept. No outside can tell it. Likewise, Allah is the creator of the whole universe, and He created everything by His own miracles. everything is belong controlled by his directions allah no soil what things are there on the earth and in which condition he is aware of the past present and future of everything so the messages and knowledge he revealed are unquestionable nobody can refute such knowledge al quran and hadith are revealed through him we can know all rules and regulations of islam through this we can get the knowledge of tawhid risalat akhirat heaven and hell etc also through this we could know nothing if these are not there so the importance of he is boundless the belief that misima of a man becomes complete by setting faith in him now the homework for he is the irrefutable knowledge of allah the almighty explain this to you Allah hafiz